hi guys and welcome to my channel welcome to the mentorship corner um, my name is Sibiana Mutandazo if you are new to my channel welcome welcome don't forget to click the subscription button um, down below don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we post new videos and you won't miss out on our content if you are already a subscriber thank you thank you for your love and support you guys are so much appreciated by me and the mentorship corner of course um on today's video i will be discussing um peer pressure so basically we'll discuss what peer pressure is um, we'll check if there's positive or negative peer pressure. We'll check what are the common characteristics that actually lead to peer pressure. Um, and then we'll just like bounce off a few ideas that you could use to actually try and stay away from peer pressure so that you can actually live your best life and basically a more fulfilling life. So let's get right into it. So first things first, what is peer pressure? So peer pressure is I'm just using my understanding from like the dictionary definition. I'm not going to take it exactly as it is in the dictionary. Basically, peer pressure it's when you are influenced by what your peers think or you are influenced by what your peers are doing. Um, basically, that's like simplest, simplest um, definition of peer pressure. So, for example, if you are in varsity and your peers go clubbing so if you're a group of five and all four of your other friends go clubbing you are going to pre be pressurized to actually go clubbing they may invite you you may say no but then you find yourself sitting in like, in your room when they out and you're like i should have said yes blah 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 and then you actually eventually end up going to the club even though it's not something you were taught even though it's not something you actually want to do but you're just doing it to fit in the group and you're just doing it to feel like you belong in the group if you get what i'm saying so that's basically what peer pressure is it's when you feel like you need to conform and adapt and fit into a group of your peers just because of what they're doing and basically their opinions um, so there is positive and negative peer pressure. We'll start with the negative. So negative peer pressure, it's when your peers pressure you to do certain things that are actually maybe harmful for you, to you. Um, it could not be now, but maybe in the future. Like for instance, you're underage drinking, non-stop partying, um, we have drugs, there's there's even like social things that you end up doing, like you change, which changes your social behavior just because you care about what someone else's opinion is of you and your actions and basically what you do. So it's all those things that as long as it does not impact you positively, it can never be positive peer pressure. It's negative peer pressure because if you get into drugs and you're in school, you end up dropping out of school because of the drugs. So that is not good. So that is negative peer pressure and then you've got the positive peer pressure positive peer pressure it's when your friends and your peers pressure you to do something that would actually benefit you it could be now or it could be in the long run like for instance if you have friends who are doing really good in school you'll feel pressured to actually perform better and they'll also always motivate you to actually study so that you can get better grades so that is positive peer pressure because it is peer pressure because it's not something that you want to do yourself voluntarily you're gonna do it voluntarily but because they have inserted a certain amount of pressure onto you and your life and for you to actually change and do whatever it is that they actually advise you to do but the good thing about the positive peer pressure is that it does not cause you any harm it actually improves your life which is great and which is actually what we all want to see in our lives correct so now I'm going to just go on to the characteristics that you normally find very common in kids, very common in school going kids, high school, varsity, even in life in general, that actually make people to actually keep falling for the trap of peer pressure. So the first one is um, people have a high concern about their social standing. So you want to you know be the cool kid you want to be the cool person and you want to fit in the group and so that you will have friends and you know build your social standing so basically that's one of the things that actually contributes to 
people falling for the peer pressure trap. Higher concern of their social standing. Um, the second one is when they have um, more conflicted relationships at home with your family. Maybe you're fighting with your mom and dad and then you feel like to ease off the stress, you have to maybe go drink with your friends or maybe you have to now go to parties and stuff. That's just basically because you're having problems at home. The best thing to do there is to actually try and talk things through. I know sometimes it may be hard. If you can't, but try not to fall for the negative peer pressure. Try to find people who would actually motivate you to still be a better version of yourself that you actually want to be in the future, okay? And then the third one is low popularity. Some people fall for the peer pressure trap because they want to be popular. So if you have a popular friend, you want to do exactly what they do, so that you will be popular in your circle, so that you'll be popular in your school, so that you'll be popular maybe in like college, also that you'll be popular in your neighborhood. But that's not necessarily who you are. It's not necessarily what you want to do. It's just you want to do it because you want popularity. Another risk factor is basically moving into a new environment, which is normally the case when people are moving to school, um, especially in varsity, because some pay, some pay, some peers um, students actually move from, we say, in maybe like a rural area and you move into a township or you move into like a city. You've never lived in a city before, so there's a lot of things you want to try and explore, but not all of it is good. So try and be able to identify the good from the bad. Another um, characteristic is over permissive pa parents. I'm not saying parents have to be strict. But if your parents just literally say yes to anything and everything that you want to do, then you end up obviously falling for the peer pressure trap because there's no, almost like there's no guidance. You know, they just like letting you be, they're letting you live your life. It's fine, it's okay, but you need a certain level of guidance that you know you're actually steering towards the right direction. The last, the last one that I wanted to discuss is low self-esteem which is actually sure, the most the most common, 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 common. If you're, you have a very low self-esteem as an individual, you, you're you most likely always going to end up falling for the trap because you feel like if you do whatever everyone else is doing, it's not only going to boost your self-esteem, but it's also going to make you look cooler and it's also going to make you more likable and more sociable um, in your group or in your circle. So those are the, let me see how many, two, four, those are the six characteristics that I found when I was doing my research that were actually very, very common when people go for the peer pressure trap. So I just want to discuss like roughly what you can do to actually try and avoid peer pressure. So peer pressure is everywhere. That's like the first thing. If you are a university student watching this right now, be it you in first year, second year, third year, or even doing your honors and masters, there's always peer pressure in college. There's always going to be someone richer than you. There's always going to be someone smarter than you. There's always going to be someone who dresses better than you. There's always going to be someone who's more popular and more cooler than you. But that's fine. That's okay. You know, it's, it's okay because there's always going to be someone who's going to be better than you. The one thing that a very, very successful guy once said is that um, when you look at yourself you must try to live your life and be see yourself 10 years from then so if you're going to be looking at that person and you're going to be feeling like oh but i can't do that uh, what 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 think to yourself in the next 10 years i'll dress better than them in the next 10 years i'll be smarter than them in the next 10 years i'll be way richer than they are today type of thing which would actually motivate you to fall for the trap because that's literally what happens. So you find someone who's better than you, you probably become friends, and then next thing you know, you're trying to live your life as someone else. It's almost like living like a double life type of thing, because that's not who you really are. But you're living that life just because you want to fit in, just because you want to make friends, just because you want to feel cool and be more sociable. Which is fine, but if it's going to be harmful to you in the long run, I don't think that's the best thing to do and that's the best way to go about it, okay? So, um, things that you can try and do to try and avoid peer pressure. First, you can try and basically follow your parents' rules. 
we all come from different backgrounds but i'm pretty sure that if even if you don't have parents there's always going to be that someone in your life who is like a father figure or like a mother figure or who actually mimics your parents who's always going to give you a certain level of like guidance as to this is the thing that you can do that will not be harmful to you these are the things that you advise i advise you to do so that you can have a better and like a more successful life in the future type of thing so that's very very important another thing you want to do you want to make sure you surround yourself with people who are better than you um they always say you will see who you really are to see, sorry, to see who the person really is, you have to look at their friends because your friends will define who you are and where you're going in the next 20 years or like in the future. So surround yourself with people who are better than you, but be motivated to do better, not to live their life because they are original. You also have to be your own original. Another thing you can do is try not to always want to fit in. It's okay to fit up it's fine it's fine you are your own normal you are your own original it's okay it's okay to be abnormal if that's what society claims it to be it's okay to be the quiet kid it's okay to fit out in the crowd because that is who you are be authentic be you and do what you feel is right for you and do what you feel will actually help you be a better version of yourself in the future um, and not necessarily just help you fit in the crowd for now and you'll have regrets later, okay? And then another thing you can do is you can put in a few structures like if you've got friends who actually go clubbing a lot try not to hang around with those friends too, too much if you can do that if you've got friends who actually study a lot try to hang around with those friends, you know because that's where you actually want to go because you want to do better, you want to live a better life and you want to actually improve yourself in your life and um, the last thing that I feel like you really, really need to invest in is do a proper and thorough self-discovery, self-love challenge for you. Because you, you need to know who you are. You need to know what you are about. You need to know what you're actually looking forward to in the future. And you need to try and start building your goals and ambitions. And um, as I discussed this on my goal setting video, it's not just about setting goals, but it's about trying to make sure that you execute the plan and you make sure you achieve your goals that all comes around with the peer pressure because different people have different goals and um if you don't have your own goals and your own dreams you're going to end up following whatever everyone else is doing even though that's not what you want you get what i'm saying um so yeah i think the most important important thing to do so that you don't fall for the peer pressure trap is to know yourself know who you are know your worth, know your goals, your ambitions, and know exactly where you want to be in the near future. If you don't know all those things, I do have a video on self-discovery and I also have a video on goal setting. Those two will help you a lot. I will link them in the description below. So yeah, so try not to fall for the negative peer pressure in your life. Um, no matter what stage you are in your life and try to always follow the positive don't follow the crowd it is okay it is absolutely fine to fit out and it is absolutely fine to be you and not to fall within the societal um, norms so don't forget to click that like button subscribe and share with your family and friends that's it from me and the mentorship corner today um i hope you guys learn a lot if there's any tips you want to give to someone who's going through a lot and someone who's been influenced a lot by peer pressure and is trying to get their life back together you can drop them on the comment section below um i would love to hear from you guys as always so you can follow me on social media and you can just leave your comments down below um so from me to you today it is now goodbye take care and yeah have a lovely march guys um so yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe and we will meet next time love you lots bye guys